Had she, I, was she not in a position to be running for president, being the nominee? But that seems like something, this Chris Christie thing, that actually affects people and Absolutely. people's lives. And the other one is kind of nothing. It might affect someone if we find out, but I have a feeling, you know, the last laugh is going to be for Hillary when we find out that her emails are just... Turn left on Southmore Avenue. ...just boring as the rest of her life. <laughs> She's just not that interested. Here, here's what I don't understand. Bill's emails. Those would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> here's what I don't understand. You got Chris Christie. He's got a multi-billion dollar pension problem. He's been downgraded eight times. You think he'd want to get their money. He needs their money. Right. Well, take yeah. their money. Well, apparently the reason for that, though, is that you're, you're, he's getting the money more quickly than he would otherwise. That's right. Uh, and, and, and let's be clear. I mean, it was, as you said, almost a nine, just like an $8.9 billion lawsuit that they wanted. But lawsuits always start out at a really high dollar amount. Exxon came back and said, hey, how about we give you $3 million? That's how different. So they ended up with about two hundred and fifty. dollars uh, It would happen to be the highest amount New Jersey's ever gotten from one of these kind of suits. Three cents so, on the dollar. They spent 10 years on this lawsuit. But Bill, the same week, they got another $190 million from another uh, energy firm. So, I mean, the money is coming in there. And I think the point, <laughs> no, but you made a good one. This, could have, this has been in court since okay. 2004. All right. So I, I couldn't help notice another irony this week as Fox News. In 800 feet, turn right on Pasadena Boulevard. Up the Hillary story, obviously. They were like a dog with a new chew toy. And yet, not a word about the Bill O'Reilly situation. And I, I, let me read to you. Turn right on Pasadena Boulevard. Bill O'Reilly's words, and you tell me if he is not just a blatant, bald-ass liar. He said, I've reported on the ground in active war zones from El Salvador to the Falklands. No, you haven't. In 1.4 miles, turn left on Pasadena Freeway. There's no gray area here. A war zone is where the war is going on. You were in the capital of a country that was at war, but the war was 1,200 miles away. Two, Bill O'Reilly, I saw nuns get shot in the back of the head. No, you saw pictures of that. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly, I've seen Irish terrorists kill and maim their fellow citizens in Belfast with bo No, again, you saw pictures of it. It's not the same thing. I've seen pictures of the Hindenburg. I don't say, I saw the Hindenburg go down. <laughs> I mean... Okay, one... One last one. Okay, there was a guy who was a friend of a Russian guy in America. He was a friend of Lee Harvey Oswald. So, as you might imagine, he's been of some interest to reporters for all the years after the Kennedy assassination. Maybe that's why, in 1977, he killed himself. Okay, here's Bill O'Reilly on that in his book, Killing Kennedy. As the reporter knocked on the door, he's talking about this guy's house. He heard the shotgun blast that marked the suicide of this Russian, assuring that his relationship with Lee Harvey Oswald will never be fully understood. By the way, that reporter's name was Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> no, it plainly wasn't. <laughs> there is a tape of him on the phone with someone talking about this, which happened in Florida when Bill O'Reilly was in Dallas, with Bill O'Reilly saying, I gotta get on a plane to cover this. These are out-and-out out lies. Now, I understand why Fox News backs him, because they're not really a news service. So they're like... They're like, you expect the truth? That's not what we do here. But why isn't the mainstream media going after him with the same ferocity, the supposedly liberal media, as they did to Brian Williams? Because it, well, I, I suspect... Hmm. I suspect it's because they know what you just said, which is Fox News isn't a real news organization, and Bill O'Reilly isn't a real journalist. Yeah, they know. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly being full of shit about something is not a news story. Right. It just isn't. I mean. Okay, but it seems amazing the way this guy gets away. Now, remember that sex scandal he had did the same thing. Just intimidated people, bullied them. I mean, he said to, about this one to a, the New York Times reporter, I'm going after you with everything you ha I have. You can take that as a threat. You know what? If a liberal reporter said they were in a war zone, 
what would the Fox News crowd be saying? They'd be saying, oh, this is an insult to troops who are really in the war zone, this bad American. You guys think so it's all right. I think there's a bigger deal too here, though, I think, Bill, Bill, in the sense that uh, this is, you know, O'Reilly has said that everything you just said is not In 1,000 feet, turn left, then stay to the left. True. He said that he could back up the stuff, and I know you, I read the stories as well. Brian Williams actually came out and said, you know what? I did do this stuff, and I'm apologizing for it. So NBC News, I think, had less that they could deal. I mean, they had to either accept that and go with it. Fox is going to defend him as long as he's saying... But, I did what I said I did, there, and nobody else is really okay. able to challenge I'll it. move on, but just so we know, there is no gray area here. He said, I was on a doorstep when there's proof he wasn't. He said he saw things when there's proof he wasn't. He Turn left on Pasadena Freeway, then stay to the left to State Highway 225 West. Claims that evidence doesn't exist. So, and there's clearly, a, I mean, I think any journalist knows the difference between being in a war zone and not being in a war zone. Stay to the left to State Highway 225 West. And it's in a uh, O'Reilly. Like, if you're in a war zone, you know. Let's, you know, let's, yeah, let's, exactly. let's talk about Bibi Netanyahu uh, at this week. It was certainly unusual. I've never seen anything like this in American history where one party invited a foreign leader to bitch about the current president and then they stood for him 50 times. Um, but here's, let me quote from Navy's speech to Congress. If Iran were to acquire nuclear weapons, this could prevent... In 3.3 miles, exit to exit, I-610 North. This is catastrophic consequences, not only for my country, not only for the Middle East, but for all mankind. The deadline of attending this call is getting extremely close. Of course, he said that in 1996. He didn't even have to rewrite the speech. I guess my question is... You know, if he was so wrong then, why are we so believing him now? Believing him now? Well, every Republican. Look, look, the fact is that what happened in Washington was, it had little to do with Iran. It had a lot to do with the existential threat to Bibi's political career. He's got an election in two weeks. This was a big rally for him and an opportunity for the Republicans to simulate the experience of having a president of their own party deliver a State of the Union speech. Since when does the U.S. Congress become a campaign stop for the Israeli president? I mean, that's the Since now. Yeah. Look, he, he's spoken before. I don't think this is about the election. I think this is about the fact that he truly believes. Not about his election. They timed it so that uh, it would be yeah. shown at uh, 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 dinner time. But it? there's also another timing, which is we're coming up against this deal with Iran and the clock is ticking. And the reality is Iran is a real threat to this country. The reason he's given that speech before is because but, Iran's been in the Nemesis for a very long time. Republicans and Democratic presidents have had to deal with them. I mean, that's a reality. The problem is, he said nothing new. And he did offer an alternative to what if the talks don't work? He did offer a realistic alternative that would suggest that he knew he had a better idea for how to stop them. At least the, the, the program stalled right now while we're having talks. That well, was we, true before. We don't know that it's stalled. No, we're the taking Israeli the word of the Iranians No, no, no. no. Everybody agrees on that. I, I, everybody agrees no, on that. No, not everybody now. agrees on that. But I understand yeah, why, why Netanyahu is paranoid. He lives in Israel. I would be too if I lived there. Yeah. Yeah. But this is America. Shouldn't we have a little more objectivity about this? And you know, there is some history. In 2005, there was a deal on the table that was pretty good because Iran had a summit, you know, what they call the Bonner president back then, too. Bush scuttled it. Back then, they had 164 centrifuges. Now they have 19,000. You know, this is what Republicans always do. This is how they negotiate. I get absolutely everything or the deal is off. Remember the 10? In one mile, exit right. The one, guys, we'll give you 10 to 1 uh, revenue to taxes. No, nope, not good enough. But basically, you're saying it's the opposite of the Democrats. Basically, Iran's getting everything they want, including continue to run out the clock. We have already released, we've already relaxed the sanctions. So what was working in the past that could keep them in check, we basically already taken that off the table. You know, when I was with the president, we travel around the world, and he got world leaders to join in these sanctions. We were being ridiculed because everyone was naive to think that you could get withering sanctions that would impact on Iran. And now Republicans can't say enough about the sanctions. Now they're all for it, sanctions. It was, it I would was, be even stronger sanctions. It was 10 years, this deal, 10 years of, of inspections. Why is that a bad deal?
big hospital, we, first of all, they have to agree to go along with it. What happens when they don't? What is, what is our part of the deal when they say, you know what, the 